I, I think I'll make this an in mendum video, so I don't know when it'll get posted. <laughs> Probably not for a couple of days, because I'm still obeying the thousand views rule on uh, one of the last two videos. Uh, so anyway, yeah, if you want to want to see Inmendum videos, probably 90% of them will end up on the Do Not God channel. And uh, so go there if you're interested. And if you just want a little bit of Inmendum, now and then, then uh, yeah, just do what you're doing. Um, so anyway, I thought I would talk about uh, last night, Friday night, I did the stick cam thing. I was just going to go in for an hour into Math Fails and uh, Matt's room. And uh, yeah, it was, you know, ended up being four hours. And yeah, I dominated the room. I just took it over, basically. Um, and so we spent the night talking about determinism and um, desire, you know, that we're basically just desire machines, that uh, this, whole, this whole universe evolving thing isn't evolving into anything. It's just, it's just doing the consuming and reproducing thing. There's no, there's no Lamborghini at the end. You know, there's nothing. It's just rats running a maze. So anyway, it was pretty good. And I gotta concede, I'm really at my best when it's me against the world. I mean, when it's me <laughs> against everybody else, I was just good. I was just, I was, you know, I was Arnold Schwarzenegger with a minigun. <laughs> I just wasted them all. I mean, I just killed uh, thoroughly, wiped it all out. I mean, it was almost like some kind of apocalypse now scene at the end, you know, at about four in the morning, because everybody just started dying off. I mean, it was just like this nice, you know, everything just obliterated. This, this just wiped them all out. And I'm just sitting on top of all the skulls, just saying, hmm, yeah, that was fun. Um, but anyway, it was, it was interesting. Uh, had a couple of really good rants. Um, I was funny as hell. Very witty, <laughs> you know. I just killed. I just, I fucking killed. Um, so anyway, so to the subject matter, and that's why it's good to talk about the subjects. I mean, the determinism thing. I mean, the only lame kind of arguments we get is, well, you can't dissect a human being and put it back together again. So therefore, there must be free parts in there somewhere, and that just has to do with our limited technology. Yeah, we can't dissect a human brain yet and put it back together again doesn't mean it isn't a mechanical device processing information just like your fucking computer. I mean, if I smash a CPU in a computer, even with our technology, we're probably not going to be able to put it back together again. We can make a new one, but we're not going to put that old one back together. No chance. Uh, it doesn't mean it has any free will parts in it. Um, so that's a bogus argument. And then the other car argument from California is that consciousness has to be accounted for as a material entity before we can even discuss it. And it's just bullshit. Because consciousness is nothing. Our subconscious creates every perception that flies through our conscious. There's nothing, there's nothing gets to our conscious that doesn't go through our subconscious first. That doesn't go through the interpretation of our eyes or the interpretation of our sense organs. They, they, contact the world and create this illusion of consciousness. I'm not consciously debating with myself, well, what words will I say now? No, my subconscious is throwing them right through my conscious. I don't, I don't, the consciousness is just, it's just the, it's just the wall that the fly smashes into. It's just the, it's the thing you throw the paint on, all right? And then it becomes an image because you threw something on it. But it's nothing without somebody throwing. And the somebody throwing is called brain. It's called reflexes. It's called associations. It's called psychology. And all that shit is programmed. It's built a step at a time. That's why you have to educate us for 20 or 30 years before we know what the fuck's going on. We should have to take all this information from the external world and put it into the brain. It doesn't just magically pop into the brain. It has to be put in the brain. It's determined. Uh, it's just nonsense to discuss this in any other, any other context. But it's really nonsense to say, well, because the phenomenon, the illusion of consciousness, is vaporous. We, you know, we can't physically pull one out of a brain and say, there's the consciousness. Um, that somehow we can't discuss it now. And we can't discuss free will and determinism because we haven't established that consciousness even exists.
and it's just a pile of shit. We know from our own experience that it exists. We don't need to dissect it to realize it exists. The phenomenon is real, as real as magnetism, as real as some other phenomenon, phenomenon of the physical universe, of its material structure, of its atomic structure, of its photon structure. Uh, so anyway, the whole word free is just so stupid. There is no free. It's an old archaic word, just like spontaneous. It's invented by ignorance, because we didn't have the right perception of the world. We didn't understand how it works. It's like sunrise. It's, it's a false description. And to say the word free is a false concept. Um, free is what you have left over um, when you do the opposite of free. Okay? And we are controlled. We're controlled by the, the mass, the physical programmed computer parts, the hardware and the software. And there's no other component. And it's just fantasy to say there is. Uh, so it's determined, period. I mean, she keeps saying something like, I think, therefore I am. It's like that's supposed to mean something. <laughs> no, you subconsciously process, and the, the, the product of that is splatted on a canvas. And so that means something? That means that somehow there's freedom involved? No, it doesn't. <sighs> so anyway, or that the I is free because you said the word I? Well, whatever. It's just an inane, uh, overly... Um, this is the problem with education, is that it, 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 it sets up these, these false um, premises and, uh, and then all logic gets defeated because of some false premise. And so they have some false notions of how you prove logic. And if you don't, if you don't fit it into their ABC category, then they're going to disqualify it. Not because it's not true, but because somehow you can't prove it. And we know, no, you can't prove anything. You can only demonstrate it. You can only provide evidence of it. You can only provide an argument. That's what really gets frustrating. But some of these people will disqualify even this process of argumentation. <laughs> like it somehow doesn't mean anything. And of course it's a necessary, we have to argue for the memes that control human psychology and human understanding to evolve. They won't, they can't evolve if we don't do this feedback thing where we throw shit at each other's brains and it, it reacts differently in each one and new shit flies out and it might react a little different in some other brain and that's how it over time uh, gets refined. And it does refine, it does improve. Understanding improves with time because our brain is built to be functionally reasonable, functionally logical. So over time, it will filter out the bullshit and create a more and more concise and solid definition of things. So as I'm saying the words, spontaneous isn't a real concept. That becomes understood by people. And then people think, okay, so there's no such thing as real spontaneous. And so then they change the vocabulary a little. They change the context of the words. They improve them. Uh, the meanings becomes more explicit and more precise. And that's what we're in the process of doing. We're evolving human understanding a piece at a time by filtering it through human thinking, processing devices. We're computers, damn it. We're nothing more. Input, output. And garbage in, garbage out. But the garbage is getting better and better. As time passes, we are putting less and less garbage in. And there's some people, though, that keep trying to shove the garbage in. The quantum theory bullshitters, the spiritualists, the metaphysical crapola. Uh, you know, they keep trying to throw, you know, magic variables into the equation. You know, undefined numbers and just say, well, that's the wild card. Let's play with a, a deck of cards that's full of jokers. And that's, you know, that's bullshit. We don't have to use jokers. We know where we came from. I mean, it's really, we don't have to go to the Big Bang. All we have to do is go to the first reproducing cell and um, realize that it's just chemistry that acquired the capacity to reproduce, no God required, 
No spiritual intent required, no magic, just fucking chemistry. And that once that started, this mechanism of reproducing, based on only two agendas, consumption and reproduction, that's, yeah, and by every reasonable understanding of the process of natural selection and evolution, you're going to have organisms like us. This wasn't unanticipatable. Uh, I think it's rare to have organisms as intelligent as us, but that's a whole other argument. I won't waste time on that here. I've already done it 700 times. But anyway, but the game is over. We know what we are. We're just eccentric manifestations of molecules that have acquired the ability to consume and reproduce. And we're just an eccentric manifestation. Not a, not a purposeful manifestation, just another manifestation of a...